We're back at Joseph's story. He is working for Potiphar, an official to the Pharaoh, the ruler of all Egypt. Everything Joseph touches turns to gold, so to speak. He does well at everything, and everything does well because of him. Well, because God has blessed him. He gets noticed and is put in charge of everything in the house. Everything flourishes. The crops just grow better when Joseph is in charge. But it's God doing the good. Joseph recognizes it. He knows that God has blessed him. He was a slave, and he was blessed. Potiphar's wife tries to tempt Joseph, but he says no, that he won't sin against God. He makes a big speech about how great a position he has in the house and how his master trusts him with everything and has given him everything but his wife. But it isn't comment about sinning against his master. His thoughts are about not sinning against God. His speech was really about recognizing all God had accomplished for him. Potiphar's wife accuses him of attacking her. He gets thrown into prison for what he is accused of, but didn't do. When in prison, he is described as being successful. He's successful, but in prison. He's blessed, but a slave. How do bad things happen? We are in a fallen world full of people, full of sin. Sin is from the devil. It steals, it kills, it destroys us. That's why Satan always wants to tempt us to bring those destructive things into our lives by our own choice. Joseph will not be tempted, and so he is blessed and successful in the eyes of the Lord, which spills into his physical life. But only to a certain extent, Joseph is still living in a sinful, fallen world. And God's plans are bigger than our comfort and ease. Joseph recognizes God's goodness while yet a slave. We need to recognize God's goodness and blessing when we're in our own pit. He never abandons his children. That means his love and goodness are there in the problems and troubles of whatever sort. Recognize God's good hand in your life and live blessed, no matter the circumstances.